For almost two decades, Obi-Wan Kenobi resided close to Luke Skywalker on Tatooine as he grew up, always keeping a safe eye on the boy but also his distance. In fact, in A New Hope, Luke seems to only know of Obi-Wan, not actually have a friendship or any type of a deep relationship with him. A New Hope is also the very first time we see Obi-Wan training Luke, as he introduces him to the weapon of the Jedi and teaches him very basic skills such as blast deflection. At the same time, the young Leia was sent far away from the Jedi, making it so she would grow up without the possibility of receiving Jedi training. But this raises the big question, why for years did Obi-Wan not train Luke, as he surely would have become a powerful Jedi, and maybe even become a Jedi Knight at the time of A New Hope? The answer is very interesting and important. To answer the question, we must look back at Revenge of the Sith, as the novelization for the film has the answer. After Padme's death, Jedi Master Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda sat down to have a very important conversation concerning the future of the Skywalker twins. Obi-Wan immediately suggested that he take Luke and train him as a Jedi on Tatooine, while Yoda take Leia and train her so that one day the four Jedi may come together to destroy the Sith. To Obi-Wan's shock, Yoda said no. Yoda explained that the Jedi had not only been destroyed by the Sith, but for years had been destroying themselves. The Jedi fell into a set way of doing things and guidelines. They neglected the existence of the dark side, and thus became unfamiliar with their old enemy, but they also defied the Force itself. For generations, the Jedi fell into a set structure on how students should be trained, and because of that, neglected the will of the Force itself. During Yoda's duel with Darth Sidious, his eyes were opened to the Jedi's complete and utter failure. He saw he had lost the battle with the Sith, not on that day, but by many days gone by. This is the direct quote, It came when the Avatar of Light resolved into the lineage of the Jedi, when the lineage of the Jedi refined into one single Jedi. It came when Yoda found himself alone against the Dark. In that lightning spear tornado of feet, and fists, and blades, and bashing machines, his vision finally pierced the darkness that clouded the Force. Finally, he saw the truth. This truth, that he, the Avatar of Light, Supreme Master of the Jedi Order, the fiercest, most implacable, most devastating powerful foe the darkness had ever known, just didn't have it. He had never had it. He had lost it before he started. He had lost before he was born. The Sith had changed. The Sith had grown, had adapted, had invested a thousand years intensive study into every aspect of not only the Force, but the Jedi lore itself, in preparation for exactly this day. The Sith had remade themselves, they had become new, while the Jedi? The Jedi had spent that same millennium training to refight the last war. The new Sith could not be destroyed with the lightsaber. They could not be burned away by any torch of the Force. The brighter the light, the darker their shadow. How could one win a war against the Dark, when the war itself had become the Dark's own weapon? He knew, at that instant, that this insight held the hope of the galaxy, but if he fell here, that hope would die with him. This revelation during the duel is what caused Yoda to deny the teaching of both Luke and Leia as children. Yoda believed that the will of the Force would guide them on their path, and unless one of them seek the path of the Jedi, it should not be freely given to them. This is why Yoda, in Empire Strikes Back, initially refuses to train Luke. He believes it should not be done unless the boy truly desires it. It was a mistake the Jedi had made for centuries, attempting to train all Force sensitives as Jedi, and not just those that it was truly meant for. Even before Empire, Yoda was proven correct. Without Luke's time on Tatooine shooting Womp Rats in his youth, he would never have landed the shot that destroyed the Death Star, despite his use of the Force. This as well would be proven correct with Leia, as her political upbringing would give her the necessary skills to rise through the Rebellion as not only a military leader, but leader in general. It gave her insight and understanding the Jedi simply couldn't. The Force provided Luke and Leia the skills they needed to defeat the Empire. It's also important, as if Luke was trained by the Jedi, his hatred for Vader may have been even stronger. He may have lost all hope for his father, as his masters had before him. But because he did not, Vader was turned back to the light, and the Empire was defeated. Yoda discovered the training of Jedi should not be boiled down to a formula. Each student was different, and the Force has proven many times before it cannot be broken down and analyzed completely to perfection. Yoda also learned he must implement the dark side into Jedi teachings, show the students their enemy, show the students the power it held, but also show them it was not invincible and could be beaten. 
He did this realizing if the Jedi ever again lost sight of their enemy, they would rise again and destroy the Jedi, and if they were successful in their rise again, they may destroy the Jedi completely the next time. Yoda believed the students must feel and confront their own inner darkness, not lock it away and pretend it's not there, allowing it to wait and grow in power until it explodes with terrible results. They had to acknowledge it, then learn from it, perfectly seen in Empire when Yoda sent Luke into the Dark Side Cave on Dagobah to confront his fears. Instead of training the twins, Obi-Wan and Yoda spent their time training themselves, until a period where Luke proved he wanted to pursue the path of the Jedi. Just as they planned the Force to guide the young Skywalkers, the Jedi again finally allowed it to guide them. So that is why Luke and Leia were not trained as Jedi from birth, or as children. It's also a little bit of an insight into Yoda and what he believed finally brought down the Jedi, not just being the Sith, but again, the Jedi themselves. So how do you feel about this explanation, and how do you guys feel about the structure of the Jedi before the Sith destroyed it? Do you agree with it, or do you agree with Yoda that there were many flaws and that they needed to be changed? Also, how do you guys think the galaxy would look if Luke and Leia were both trained from youth? Do you think they would still be able to defeat the Empire, or would the Empire be able to defeat them, as Yoda predicted? If you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like, as it helps the channel out a great deal. If you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing to ensure you stay up to date with everything Star Wars related. If you have any questions, or just want to chat about Star Wars with me in general, my Twitter is at StupendousWave. Thanks again so much for watching, you guys are awesome. May the Force be with you, and have a great day.